Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Philippians, Philippians chapter 4, verse 23. And it simply says this, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Paul concludes this wonderful letter uh, with the most beautiful benediction possible, I think, speaking to the grace of God. For grace means all the favors and the gifts of God that are benefit, that we benefit from as believers, whether it be physical, material, or spiritually. And we read in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, it says this, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. And then we read in uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 7, it says, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. And we know, according to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, that it says, But my God shall supply all of your needs according to the, his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. God showered his grace upon man, man who did not deserve his favor, man who, according to Romans chapter 5, but without strength or are ungodly, that are sinners, that are enemies of God. No other word expresses the heart of God toward mankind. And it was out of his deep love for God that God did the most unimaginable thing possible. That is, he gave his son that we might be saved. God's grace cannot be earned. It is his unmerited favor toward us. We don't deserve it. For by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians chapter 2, verse uh, 8 to 9. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all today. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day, have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow, yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.